Baking at home can result in disaster. Flour everywhere, egg yolk in your hair. The end result, still jiggly or burned around the edges, but not with this guy. Chicago native Brian Emmett managed to make it all look easy, even on reality mm -hmm. TV. Reality TV. <laughs> he won the American baking competition, bringing home the dough, literally $250,000 hey. in a cookbook yeah. publishing deal. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, though, it's, it's crazy. It was a, a crazy moment in my life. My family was there to witness it. So now I'm going around the country and I'm baking for everybody. And not stereotypes, let's just say, because I we said the winner was it a man, was it a woman, a yeah. man here, and exactly, you grew hey. up <laughs> I, exactly. You grew up cooking though yes, with your mom and your grandmother. Absolutely, yeah. I, I love to do both. I love to, and that's one of the things people ask me. They're like, "Do you like to cook or bake?" And I'm like, "I'm one of those oxymorons that like to do both, and I like to do it, and I do. I think I do it very well." Very good, but you, you said you were the youngest, so you were always left behind, so you ended up a lot in the kitchen. You don't do this for a living, you're in advertising. Yeah, I'm an advertising executive and um, just a huge passion of mine. And I think, you know, anything that you do in life, if, if you find your passion, you got to go for it, and that's what I did. Very so good. much better to call yourself an executive as opposed to an oxymoron. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've got like the that. eggs going. Tell yeah. us what you're cooking for so us today. I'm making my banana cream tartlets. So they're mini mm. tartlets, which they're great for any type of event you have. But what I have here is uh, sugar and corn starch and I'm going to dump a little bit of half and half in here and I like to use half and half because it lightens it up a little bit. Okay. So we're going to turn that on and we're going to get that to kind of like a rolling boil and then once you have a rolling boil you're going to take the mixture and you're going to temper the eggs. Okay. And by tempering the eggs you're going to do that so you don't scramble them. So you're going to take that mixture and then you're going to dump them back in here. Oh okay. And then I once you do that then this is going to become this really, really nice custard. I have a vanilla bean that I split over here, which is going to give it all the flavor. Let me scrape that out. Now, do you learn these tricks from grandma when you were a kid and you've retained all this your whole life or you just pick it up along the you way? You know what? I learned some of it, but my mom and my grandma are like, how did you know, how do you know all this stuff? Because we didn't teach you it, so I just kind of, I'm self-taught. So, and you know, like I said, if you love it, you're going to be really good so at it. So have you surpassed mom and grandma <gasps> in the kitchen? Uh -huh. I can't say that on air. I'm sorry. No, I will, I will, he I'll has never. not. No, they, no, I have not. All right, you better say that just to be honest. Okay, nice. I have not surpassed my mom and my grandma. <laughs> so we have that mixture here, and here is is the finished custard. So it's oh, basically yeah. a custard. And what we do is we just fill it in there. And these are blind baked shells. And the reason why I want to tell you about that is because you're going to cut the, the pastry out, you're going to put it in here, and you're going to use these foil, and you're going to use these little um, ceramic balls, which holds the dough down. So then you get your nice little tart oh. shell. Wow. That's how that works. Yeah. To keep it, that from. Yeah, and if you don't do that, then you're gonna these are gonna puff up and they're not gonna work. Exactly. So, and then I'm gonna have you do the honors to okay. finish, so you can pipe. Thank you. Nice pipe. little. And, and, and what am I piping? You're piping. This is Chantilly cream, which is basically a whipped cream. And am, and am I supposed to make like a little? Yeah, make it pretty. Make it pretty. Okay. Yeah, okay. Come on, miners. Da, 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 da. There you and go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Came out the other end. Whoops. Go well, ahead and look at it. There you go. Look at that. There's my head. <laughs> Ma'am, am I allowed? You're, you're allowed, allowed to look at that. Yes, you're allowed to look at that. He's right. just now taking the piping away from you. Mm. And tell us with this win, sure. you're going to be coming out with a cookbook. Yes, I'm going to be coming out with a cookbook. I'm working on it right now with Sarah Mastraco. She's a chef to Martha Stewart. So it's really exciting. I turned in all my recipes, so I'm just waiting, you know, to to come around for the editors to to approve them all, and then the way we go. Wait, wait, let me say that again. She's a chef to Mark Martha, Martha Stewart. Yes. Oh my God, what a demanding boss that uh, was. <laughs> and she's a sweet lady. I mean, I've worked with her already wow. now for a couple months. She's well, great. It, there's no crying in Try the kitchen, it again. but there was. You said reality TV was the toughest thing that you've yeah, ever done. It's the toughest thing that I ever did, and I, you know, they asked me about my family. We were away, to, away from our family for a month, and I have two young daughters, and. Um, right at that moment, I won the semifinals, I, I, and I was really pushing up in the competition. And they said, um, "How is it being away from your family?" And I went to speak, and I went, "Whoa!" Uh, <laughs> I, just, I just wrote down. But it's all good. Well, when it's about Bakers your cry. family, we're bakers, <laughs> you cry. cry. Nice to meet you. Very nice really to meet you too. Thank it. you. Thank you very much. Hey, and you can keep up with Brian at BrianEmmettBake. Dot com. We're going to be looking forward to that cookbook. Any idea when it's about to come out? I probably um, everything is in by April, and I think the fall. All right, we'll be looking for it.